but uh, sometimes when I feel B L O C K E D, I'll uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll pull out a bit of pull out a bit of Hunter and see how it's done. <coughs> he was a phenomenal writer, a really genuinely important American writer, and the only person since Mark Twain who had shoved himself into the actual narrative of his reporting. And he's going to last this man, you know. He's quite an extraordinary man, I think. Yeah, hold on one sec. He's telling me what to do, but I'm disobeying. On the Gonzo, the Hunter Thompson documentary, you're 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 in it as the narrator. Um, you read a bunch of the work, and I think you were instrumental, basically, in just getting the film made. Um, so, uh, would you recommend that uh, if people want to have a an arm's length experience of the man and the work, is that a good is that a good viewing experience? Oh, that's great. No, that's a, uh, uh, the Alex Gidney film. Um, Gonzo is, is uh, a great source of Hunter. I mean, it's it's pure Hunter, and uh, it was made out of love and respect, and uh, and uh, y you know, I, I think you know the filmmakers got it um, in a in a large way because, as Bruce said, you know, Hunter Thompson is is one of the for me and for many. It's one of the most important writers of the uh, of the twentieth century, and um, because he made his exit in the twenty first, um, he it doesn't matter. I mean, you know that that's he he uh, he dictated the way he would live, and he dictated the way he would die, and um, and that's okay by me, you know. Um, but the most important thing is that his legacy lives on and, and that people read the work because it is unique. It is uh, as important as, for me, as Baudelaire or Poe or um, uh, Burroughs or Kerouac, you know. This is going to be the last question in the room. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm so inspired by your journey and the courage that you had um, going from a guitarist to an actor and um, oh my God, just taking, um, just progressing in your career um, constantly. And um, I don't know, I just respect so much that creativity that you have. And I just really wanted to know, when's the next time that we can see you um, writing um, and doing more and producing more of like your own work and kind of just concentrate on your own creativity. And also, uh, where do you get your hats? Because I can't find them anywhere. <laughs> 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 well, I've got a few. And uh, if you want to, I'll send you a hat for sure. If you, if you will you give me your address? If you give me your address. You, yeah, no, if you write it down, I'll, I swear, I'll send you, I'll send you a, yeah. I'll be, ha be happy to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd be so glad in, to, yeah. In some cases, the meek shall not inherit the earth, the bold shall inherit a hat. <laughs> um, there's a thing, you know, I, I don't know what it is, and, and Bruce, most of you will probably understand this, and, and Bruce certainly does, you know, the, uh, the brain needs to be occupied um, at all times, because it's uh, otherwise it's a feral beast, <laughs> you know. <laughs> we must deal with it, and we must uh, acknowledge it, and we, whatever outlet there is, whether it's acting. I mean, I, I stumbled upon acting. I, 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 I literally did, and I, I didn't. Uh, that was not um, a conscious decision early on. I didn't want to be an actor. I was a musician, and. Uh, a guitar player, and that's all I wanted to be. I didn't want uh, spotlights. I didn't want attention. I didn't want anything. You know, I asked for nothing. I just wanted to play the guitar. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> for the, for the, uh, can you all see her hand? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> what have you done? <laughs> what have you done? I've just made friends. <laughs> oh, you made a date? You made a date? <laughs> no, the reality about Johnny is, I've got to say this, I don't mind saying it with him because I probably, <clears throat> I don't know, I couldn't give one damn about doing this again. Because I, I did the film with Johnny because of, of uh, who he is. Uh, he is a remarkable artist, you know, and none of you guys know probably, well, a few of you probably know how great a musician he is. He's an incredible musician. And he's also an incredible painter, you know. I've <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I have this enormous picture in my... Uh, I, in my home in England that he gave me of, of Keith Richard that is painted on uh, cigarette papers. It's about six feet by six feet. It's just a really beautiful piece of art. He's, he's the reason we're here. Is he not? <laughs> <laughs> and and that's, that's the reason I did it with him. <laughs> what? <laughs> No, it's... You're right. It's <laughs> all right. <laughs> we, we, we have come to an end, which you've been asking, asking to do for the last 20 minutes, so... Yeah. Um, no, I don't like all of this stuff. Well, you, well you, <laughs> you've done very well for not liking it. We're, we're, we're going to sign off to our friends on the DepNet all over America. DepNet. Yeah, and uh, come back, and we'll give you an honorary degree sometime if you want. <laughs> you know what? That'd be killer. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> Wow. All, all you know, would, wouldn't that be great for a high school dropout to get an honorary degree? I can that, be a that doctor. That would be great. Okay, yeah. Rum Diary is opening next Friday. Tell everybody you know to see it and see it yourselves again. And thank you, Johnny Depp. Thank and you. thank you, Bruce Robinson. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much.